you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Courtney. Today I am bringing you some really fun DIYs centered around the movie, The Santa Claus, starring Tim Allen. I've also created some other Santa Claus type themed DIYs that I think you'll enjoy also. So without further ado, let's get into today's DIYs. For this first DIY, I wanted to combine a couple different things that were relevant in the movie, and the first being the snow globe. The snow globe is something that Bernard the Elf gives Charlie, which is Scott Calvin's son, so that he can shake it and always see his dad. So I knew I wanted to make some kind of snow globe. From there, I decided, okay, what am I gonna put in the snow globe? I'm gonna put the Santa suit. So in the beginning of the movie, Santa is on top of the roof, he falls down, he hits the snow, and his suit goes flat, he disappears, and then there's the Santa suit with the little card. So to make the Santa suit, I originally was planning to grab some red velvet, but when I was at Hobby Lobby, it was in the frou-frou section. Well, that's what I call it, but it's where the tapestry is and the long rolls, you know, and you have to ask for help and all that good stuff. So I was like, hey, let's make this a little more budget friendly. So I grabbed some red shiny fabric and I just winged cutting this out. I cut a pair of pants and I just did it to where it was two pieces of fabric so that the suit was a little bit thicker one piece of fabric would definitely I think make it look too thin and not kind of stand up very well on the snow well not stand up you know what I'm saying lay down on the snow I should say so I grabbed the uh, fabric and cut the pants out and then for the jacket I grabbed a fabric marker and I went ahead and just traced out um, I guess a long sleeve t-shirt you could call it or a jacket and I cut two pieces of fabric that look like that and then for the front part of the jacket I just cut that t-shirt or jacket piece in half. With all the pieces of the suit cut out, I grabbed my hot glue gun and glued the two pieces of pants together. And I glued the two pieces of the jacket, leaving a little bit of a gap in the front. With some white fluffy fabric, I cut small little rectangles and hot glued those to the bottom of the pants, the bottom portion of the sleeve of the jacket, as well as the very front middle section of the jacket. For the snow inside of the snow globe, I took some white fluff, grabbed my Gorilla Glue adhesive spray, sprayed it all over the white fluff, and sprinkled some of the fake snow from Dollar Tree onto the fluff. I will say this kind of getting this into the snow globe and putting the suit on there was a little bit of a struggle. It took a little finagling, but it is doable. So you just have to kind of gauge and get the right amount of fluff. Before I added the fluff in there, I did grab just a small piece of paper and took a red pen, drew a little red box and wrote Santa Claus so that I could hot glue that directly to the suit because the card on the suit. And then it was just a matter of kind of fighting with this fluff and the suit to get it in there. Now you certainly could hot glue the suit directly to the fluff and then shove it in there and maneuver it around. It probably would make your life a little bit easier, but if you like to kind of fight with the snow globe, then definitely do it my way. This DIY took some determination and patience on my part. So 
with the Santa suit and the little card, I had to make a larger version of the actual card that Scott Calvin picks up. So if in the movie, when we first see the card, it looks like it's just a red line around it, but it's actually the Santa Claus. So what did I do? I put on the movie and I literally stopped it, wrote some stuff down, rewind, stopped it, wrote some stuff down, <laughs> rewind. And so I recreated the card exactly as it is from the movie, minus the little squiggly thing under the North Pole. I couldn't find that exact emblem or symbol and I couldn't figure out how to make it but I figured this is good enough. I printed it out on some cardstock, cut these two down and then just used a glue stick to glue them together. This printable along with anything else will be down in the description box so make sure you just look down there for anything you see in today's video whether it's a tool or a printable. Now jumping from movie DIYs, I needed to make a, I guess you could call it complimentary uh, decor piece for this video. And that's gonna be a Santa cam. So I picked up this four pack of dummy security cameras from Amazon. They were $11 for four of them. They run on batteries. It has a real red blinking light and you just turn it on by pushing it up and then push it to turn it off again. And so for this, it's super simple just to make it look really cute and authentic. I went ahead and used my Cricut, but the good news is, is that if you can find the little alphabet stickers from Dollar Tree, those will fit so that white rim around this camera you've got about three quarter of an inch of space to add stickers to it and you certainly could do this exact same thing just with stickers I will definitely make a printable down below if you want to cut it out and just glue them on there so that option is down for you as well in the description box but I just cut out Santa cam on my Cricut as well as a little circle to kind of put around the camera portion and then of course I added a little Santa hat Now on this printable where the stuff is to make the little Santa Claus card, you'll kind of see a golden box down at the bottom. This is for this DIY and it's to be cut out and attached to a mini ladder. Now this mini ladder came from Hobby Lobby in the miniature section, but if you don't have it, you certainly could make a ladder with some popsicle sticks. And this part of the movie is when Charlie is walking up the ladder to go towards the roof. He comes across the golden plate. And if you were to read it, just as the words are written on the, the plaque, it says the Rose Suchak Ladder Company. But if you actually break it down, what it really says is the Rose Such a Clatter Company. So I just cut it out with some scissors, hot glued it directly to the ladder. I grabbed the little sign, painted it with some fern paint by Waverly. I also created another little phrase and I did add this to that same printable. I know it didn't show it a minute ago, but it's on there. So if you print this out, you'll see it. And it just says Santa Claus is coming to town in red letters. I simply cut that out, used a glue stick, stuck it directly to my little sign and this one was good to go. When it comes to Christmas DIYs, I love using sheet music. So for this one, I wanted to make a little luminary and I found some sheet music for Santa Claus is coming to town and I just simply added a the silhouette of Santa and his reindeer to the front of it as well as a little red hat. And these are gonna be sized for the smaller glass vases from Dollar Tree. I was on the hunt for the tall ones, but I went to two different Dollar Trees, couldn't find it, so I'm making it work with these. So I just had to kind of make sure, I knew that the song would fit in there, but I had to know exactly 
where to trim it on the bottom and where to trim it on the top. Also, if you only use one set of the sheet music, it's not gonna completely wrap the inside of the vase, so that's why I have two. But you certainly could just do one if it's gonna be pushed up against something, you won't even notice the back. So once I trimmed these down, I just stuck them inside of the vase and I took some scotch tape to just tape the two pieces together so it wouldn't move around. To finish off the vase, I grabbed some twine and I wrapped it around three times at the top, tied it off and added a little jingle bell as well as some greenery and that's it, keeping it super simple. But again, I just absolutely love to work with sheet music. I knew I needed to make some ornaments for this video, so I decided on two different Santa felt ornaments. I love to work with felt, and these were super easy to do because they you just need a couple of colors, red, white, skin tone, and black. I found two different patterns on Pinterest, and to make it easy, I just used those patterns, and they were super easy to put together. I just used some hot glue, and then to finish off the details for the Santas, I used fabric markers, so I did on one of them, I did some black eyes and some pink cheeks. On the other one, I just did black eyes, but I did go ahead and opt to add noses to both of them because I felt like it looked a little wonky without the noses. But these super easy, it's definitely an easy one that you can do while you're just kind of chilling out, watching a movie. Also super easy for kids because these patterns were really easy to follow. Again, I will make sure to have these two patterns linked down below for you in the description box. To work in with these DIYs, I picked up a plain galvanized sleigh from Hobby Lobby and these believe letters came from Dollar Tree. I wanted to put something on the side of the sleigh because it was just pretty plain and boring. So grabbing this believe, I had thought about adding some elf feet and you know, I kind of played around a little bit, but ultimately what I did is I grabbed one of the glitter markers from Dollar Tree and I have to say, I was quite impressed. I just colored over the entire believe. I'm not gonna lie, the believe here, it kind of weirded me out a little bit that the holes weren't cut in the ease, but you know what, it's okay. You could definitely draw them in if it bothers you a lot, but this marker worked really, really well. I was super impressed with it. Then this one was finished. That's all I needed to do, keeping it sweet, keeping it simple. Then I wanted to add a Santa bag to the back of the sleigh, and to make that, I used some more of the red fabric that I picked up from Hobby Lobby to make the Santa suit, and I just, cut out a rectangle hot glue, turned the fabric I guess right side to right side did some hot glue to make the seams turned it inside out threw some fluff in there and then tied it off with a little gold string that came off one of the Dollar Tree presents and then there I had a bag of toys to put in the back of my sleigh
the movie at the North Pole, there is an elf named Judy, and she makes the best hot cocoa. She talks about how it took her, I don't remember the exact number of years, but it was like 1,200 years or 200 years. I know that's quite a big difference there, but you get what I'm saying. And so I definitely wanted to do some type of hot Judy Okay, no, not Hot Judy. That would be a different program. Uh, I wanted to do a Hot Cocoa thing that represents Judy. This little mug was a clearance find from Hobby Lobby last year, and actually they do have them this year. I just love the size of it, and well, it had a C on it, so I thought originally I was gonna hang it up, but I feel like this is a much better use of this ornament. I scraped it off with my little tool. I do get asked about this tool. It is nothing fancy, y'all. It is just a sculpting tool that I stole from my oldest daughter uh it, but it works really really well one end is kind of this little flat scraper thing the other th end is like this cutter that i use like if i get a blob of hot glue it just cuts it right off on this nice line so i will link down below if i can find one by itself i will try but mostly the time i just have to link a whole sculpting set but you never know maybe some of those other tools will help you out now with this scraped off I was ready to go ahead and start working on the hot cocoa portion of this mug. I wanted to put something stiff inside the mug, so I'm just using pieces of pool noodle so that when I go to apply the Dollar Tree caulk to the top, it won't sink down in the mug. You don't wanna use anything like, uh, I don't know, fluff or soft paper because that caulk does get heavy as it dries, especially as it dries, I don't know, it kind of expands a little bit and it just gets really heavy. And so it's gonna start sinking down. So definitely find something that's sturdy to put inside there. You could use floral foam as well. Once the Dollar Tree noodles were inside of the mug, I took the caulk and I just swirled it around. And then I add, started adding some fun sprinkles. All the sprinkles I ordered on Amazon, they have so many fun faux sprinkles. You could also grab some clay from Dollar Tree and make your own sprinkles or use some of the little colored beads. Hobby Lobby has some fun miniatures as well. I just used some tweezers to place them around on the caulk and then I let it dry for about 48 hours. Once it was completely dry, I just created a small decal on my Cricut, attached it to the front of the mug, and this one was ready to go. I will definitely make a printable of it so that you could also just cut it out and add it to the front if you wanna do that as well. Or you could just grab some fun stickers from Hobby Lobby or Dollar Tree and add those to the front of the mug, just like this one. With this being a Santa themed movie, I knew I wanted to make a Santa cookie tray. I know they're super popular and my goal was to try to find a design that hasn't been overdone. I'm really trying hard to do that this season, especially with the fall DIYs and Christmas is just trying to find things that aren't overdone. My Dollar Tree is slowly converting to a Dollar Tree Plus. So this is their bamboo cutting board, but it's the larger version. It was $5. I knew that it would be food safe, so I thought it would be perfect. Now. I wanna, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you about a product that I just do not like. If you follow my husband at Real Mr. Chief on Instagram, he showed, he shows a lot of behind the scenes, probably more than I do on my own Instagram. But he was showing, not really showing what I was doing, but you could hear the audio of how I was struggling with this. This is Arteza transfer tape. I'm just gonna say, I am not a fan. I am not a fan of this transfer tape. It took me an hour and a half to get the vinyl total to get the vinyl stuck to the transfer tape and then to get it off of the transfer tape. Um, so even if I tried to destickify that, it wouldn't have really helped because it was struggling to get stuck on there and then it struggled to get off. So I'm just not a fan. Um, I do like to keep it real, so I'm just gonna be up front. I, I don't recommend Arteza transfer tape. But with that being said, I thought this design was really cute. It was something a little bit different. Um, and I was just really excited to find it. And I'm just happy because I know that the, like I said, the cutting board's food safe. So this can be hand washed and it can be used to be put out for Santa's visit.
And there we go, Christmas Movie Monday. This was the Santa Claus movie version. Let me know down below which one of these DIYs was your favorite. Also let me know what treat do you leave out for Santa? Do you leave cookies? What kind of cookies do you leave? peanut butter sandwiches? Do you leave sushi? I don't know. I would love to know what you leave out for Santa. Thanks so much for watching guys. I really appreciate it. Here are some more videos you might enjoy and I will see you in the next one. Bye.